Actually not bad options in 380 and 380 plus P respectively. Greetings discreet defenders, this is Dave from DDR. We are out in some national forest lands, actually it's technically national grasslands, and I'm probably getting cut out this entire part of the video, but I thought I'd get the camera rolling. Forgive the sniffle, it's about 23 degrees out here. According to the car thermometer, it was 21 when I left Fargo. So it's warmed up just a bit, it stopped snowing for the time being. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna dump out the XTPs because we're gonna shoot the G42 today. Clear that. Make sure I don't have any surprises. We're a long ways from anywhere. The poor Pro Chrono is the number one piece of equipment that I have concerns about today, other than the piece of equipment between my ears, which is the piece of equipment that forgot to bring a spare battery for the Pro Chrono. And the one in here has been horribly abused and we're just about to abuse it some more. We are gonna set up to shoot really interesting ammo today out of the G42. The first round we're gonna test is actually a standard pressure 380 auto, although it's European, so eh, standard pressure maybe take with a grain of salt on that. But it looks like, uh, it looks like some really good ammunition. It's a solid copper. 77 grain hollow point the list velocity on that is 1115 feet per second we'll see what we get out of the g42 with its intermediate length barrel and the second round we want to test today is the buffalo barnes ammunition this is an 80 grain tac xp also a 380 hollow point but this one is plus p again all copper lead free and the list velocity on this one is 1,275 feet per second for a 289 foot-pound listed muzzle energy. Let's get that XRG Defense 380 Auto by Cellier and Bellot, or however you pronounce that name. I'm just going to call them S and B. Load it up. Getting back five feet. Thousand twenty-seven. Not off to a very positive start with the Pro Chrono here. Nine seventy-seven. A thousand thirty-one. And a thousand fifty-two. I'm gonna have to test these again at some point, but so far there's a high of a thousand fifty-two. A low of 977. All right, let's get those buffalo bores and see if we can improve on that velocity. Oof. Same distance, about five feet away. Try the buffalo barns. 1240. Let's advertise what we're shooting. And I can feel the rocking recoil on that. Relatively. I mean, it's no 357. 1224. 1239. 1224 again. 1210. Let's review that string. High of 1240, low of 1210. The Buffalo Barnes does not disappoint. Let's see how it does in the gel though. All right, we have a good 18 and a half inches of gel today. So if we do have any pass-throughs, we will know that we have clogged up and over-penetrated. I am going to jump straight to four layers of denim because these are copper hollow points and they rarely fail. I guess we'll shoot that S&B first. A 
Oh yeah, that did it. And we do indeed have expansion. Although we only penetrated the first gel block. So that is nine inches of penetration by the little S and B 77 grain solid copper hollow point. There you can see it trapped between the gel blocks. I have a lot of faith in copper these days. And yeah, that looks, that looks pretty much how it's supposed to. We'll definitely, uh, oh, my, my hands are freezing, but that's fully expanded. We'll take, uh, we'll take that home and measure it. I'm not going to subject the, the, uh, the, the, the super sensitive calipers to these conditions, but I will just drop that in my pocket, put my gloves back on and wear my fingers back up just a little bit. Oh, okay. And so far we only have one damaged gel block, although there's definitely a mark on that block number two back there. And we'll pop in uh, that buffalo board. These are both basically the same design. Solid copper hollow points. Can't see much difference. The S&B, if anything, has slightly deeper perforations. I'm going to keep these gloves on. Gosh, and we're losing the light. It should have been getting brighter out. I have a feeling it's about to start snowing. Well, that's worse things have happened to me out here. So. At least I've never been bit by a rattlesnake. Actually, what what kind of what kind of penetration anomaly is that? The Buffalo Barns went only eight eight and a half inches. Nice expansion though. But between these two rounds, I'm definitely not going with either. Because nothing is penetrating today. And that's with a denim barrier. Theoretically, that should optimize penetration for both of these rounds. And I've got a backer block with no holes in it. I think what I'm gonna do is shoot one of those Underwood XTPs, those, uh, those 90 grain plus P traditional hollow points. All right, for comparison's sake, here's a 90 grain XTP round. This is 380 plus P loaded by Underwood. And I'm just gonna shoot it in bear gel to minimize the penetration depth. And then we'll have a baseline because I know this this block is extra tough. That is exactly where I wanted it. And oh, what do you know? It's made it to the second block. With bare gel, that's gotten 11 inches of penetration. That's the Underwood XTP. Buffalo Barnes, lead free 380 plus P. I had a number 27H20 versus. S&B XRG Defense 380 Auto, 77 grain. Again, solid copper hollow point. Standard pressure round. And that is what the final expanded bullets look like through the denim and ballistic gel test. This, of course, is that Underwood XTP round. Gotta surrender that expansion in favor of penetration. Time to get the calipers out. And here's a quick look at those wound channels. There's the Buffalo Bore. It's an older multi-melt gel block. So I apologize that it's not as clear a view as I know the audience prefers, but it is organic gel. All right, let's check how wide that XRG got. Pretty little five-pointed star, 60 caliber. Cool looking round. Now let's look at the Buffalo War. Almost 70 caliber. I mean, that is a massive bullet. No wonder it stopped so short. Still, pretty fun shoot today. Actually not bad options in 380 and 380 plus P respectively. Thanks folks, this is Dave for DDR. Have another great week. All 12, no issues.